In this segment, we're going to look at a current liability known as accounts payable and its relationship to inventory and how you can, just by having a balance sheet, the beginning and ending balances, figure out what happened during the year. And in particular, figure out how to compute the cash payments that were made to the suppliers during the year. This is Bed Bath & Beyond in 2012's annual report. And we can see that accounts payable, the current liability, started the year with a balance of $752,064. Remember, this is in thousands. And ending is 913 365 and we know that accounts payable is increased when we buy resources on credit such as inventory and accounts payable is decreased when we pay for pay those bills so what if we assume that the current asset inventory is all purchased on credit that means the beginning balance of 2 million 71,890 and the change at the end of the year 2,466,214 the reason the inventory increased during the year was because we bought it well we know that inventory is decreased when we sell it and so the expense account cost of goods sold for the year is the amount of inventory that was sold, the cost of the inventory sold of six million five twenty five eight thirty. Thus we can back into how much inventory did we buy on credit? And the amount of inventory we bought on credit was six million nine hundred twenty thousand 154. And if we bought it on credit, the accounts payable also increased by 6,920,154. So to answer the question, how much cash did you pay for inventory, it's simply finding the missing number. And the missing number is 6,700,000. 58,853. And that, uh, this procedure, this uh, technique, can be used for any company that has uh, substantial inventory if you make the assumption that the inventory is purchased on credit through using their accounts payable. So hopefully, this is helpful in analyzing T accounts.